Hey, what's up, guys? It's by Attack. This is gonna be my chapter review of Attack on Titan, chapter 77. We're starting off with a flashback with Rhaenyra and Bertolt back, you know, a little while back, back to where Marco died, and it kind of shows us what happened there, where basically Rhaenyra and Bertolt and Annie all left Marco for dead because he saw or he kind of heard them talking about their mission, their Titan mission. And so, you know, Raynair had no, no had nothing of that. It's and he just took his 3D maneuvering um, gear and just kind of left him for dead for Titans. And that's you know, you know what happened. But like, what's weird is that the panel showed him basically getting eaten. And in the anime, he, there's still like half of his body. So I guess like after the point, this Titan just kind of ate him like he just left him on the ground. I guess. And you know, they're crying. It's like it just kind of sh highlights that the lines of right and wrong are so blurred in this world just because like you know that like there's so much wrong in this world and you know you're just trying to do right you know even these guys you know right now Bertolt and Annie they think they're doing right by their own standards and I mean I guess they are t they are the antagonists and you know like they did get Marco killed so I mean they kind of deserve what's coming to them you know towards the end of this chapter but also this towards the middle of this chapter where showed the beast titan the ape titan his human form more of him he's really he, I like his design he kind of has a goatee going on with the with really cool glasses Harry Potter glasses and there he's just talking about the mission and there is some pretty interesting terminology when it comes to the plot and basically he was telling uh, these guys that if you fail we'll give your titan powers to another combat warrior which was interesting so obviously they have more people more people titans I mean obviously the titan abilities they just can't give it to everybody or uh, like, well the really you know exquisite titan abilities like the armor titan the colossal titan but, uh, so that's interesting, and they also said that we have to regain the coordinate here and end it, end it all. And with the coordinate thing, I, I mean, it, we're just gonna have to wait on the chapter to find out what's down there. I mean, I'm interested, but I could not really tell you. I mean, it's the secret of everything behind the Titans. We're gonna get a bunch of, fla you know, flashback stories for probably everything. I mean, obviously the story was pretty cool because it was a mystery just kind of unraveling, and we're getting a lot of the unraveling right now. The Beast Titan was also referred to General, to War General. So he's obviously not probably the leader, but he's definitely up there. So he's gonna be the antagonist for now. One more point, the, the Beast Titan put it, as put a, put a stop to this cursed history so i think they're trying to like maybe start a brand new century over with their organization ruling it kind of like how the old government of the walls kind of did their thing they just you know took over everything so maybe they're just trying to do that so that's i mean more interesting stuff i love attack on titan there's just a lot of plot points that are all converging on one each other i just want to see what happens and then we go to the end part of this chapter, which happens to be the aftermath of what happened last chapter, and that is Rainer is fucked, his just jaw is left standing, and you know, everyone, you know, they're like, yay, we got him, but then they're like, fuck, he's our comrade from before, so some people start crying, John's like, why are you crying, you know, and it's really ultimately like, Armin put it like, that was their only option because they have no way of stunning a titan without killing them or anything like that so that was their only option and plus he had it coming he killed marco he's done other evil shit he you know caused you know this wall to to recede into the inner walls it's just bad but then we also see a new titan ability which is basically rainer's titan what just starts screaming and he basically is a signal for Bertolt to come in with the Colossal Titan and what happens is that the Beast Titan launches him in a barrel from outside the walls and he just chucks him into the middle and it, basically the chapter ends off with him saying We're, let's, I'm going to go get Rainer but they don't know that he's dead now but it's interesting to think that that was the signal call that Rainer was talking about to give to Bertolt to come and that only happened when he died. So I'm wondering if that Titan Roar was an ability that happens when a Titan dies and then you just start screaming. Or if it is just an ability that 
happen that is also at you can use after death but you could also yeah. use it i mean there is regular titan screaming so i mean that could be a different ability either way that is an interesting to note and i'm just going to kind of keep this shorter because like i'm mainly focused on the bleach reviews or in live reactions and discussions so i'm just gonna tag on titan will be on the side but either way thank you for watching guys what did you think of this chapter what's gonna happen next chapter because this chapter was pretty simple i mean it was just like straightforward it gave us some flashbacks you know saw what happened to marco and now saw what happened to rainer his head's fucked and now we're gonna see what happens next chapter i mean he's about to explode that barrel he's gonna come down on everybody he's gonna be pretty cra he's gonna go crazy when he sees that his comrades dead but either way thank you for watching and comment below so have a nice day and i will see you for next week's uh manga chapters for one piece and possibly i mean bleach and possibly one piece so have a nice day and Aizen, Aizen's mom, guys. So I'm going to talk about these two because Urahara, he went to the Soul Palace. He's there right now. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see his Bankai. Like, out of all these Bankais, Urahara's is most likely going to happen because it's been foreshadowed. It's been mentioned by Kubo. And when he mentioned something early in the series, it's going to show up later. There's just so many examples of that.